So the, the topic for today is Leela, which uh, in Sanskrit means divine play. And, uh, you know, all, all that we do in life, that, that's what it's all about and whatever we're doing. Let's not take ourselves too seriously. And so today on our mat today, let's not take ourselves too seriously and let's do it, uh, but put in uh, our best effort in, um, in being present here and taking care of ourselves and remembering that our yoga practice is not just for ourselves uh, and keeping that higher purpose in mind. So welcome to class. Uh, let's settle in here. <clears throat> Just finding a comfortable seat, whether it's in a chair or on the ground. <clears throat> you might sit up high on a block or a blanket. Let's start getting comfortable. And I'm going to take off my coat, my jacket. And connect with awareness right here. Awareness of this space, the sounds near and far. If the eyes are closed, noticing the dance of light against the eyelids. Awareness of the body. Sensations against the skin, the air, our clothing against the skin. Our bodies body as it settles into the earth, feeling the pull of gravity and the weight of the body. Going long in the spine, reaching the crown towards the sky in a relaxed but alert posture. And awareness of the breath as it moves in and out of the body where we feel it most prominently. It may be at the tip of the nose, the back of the throat, the chest or the belly as it rises and falls, or a sense of the whole body breathing. Just as an observer, and you might notice the mind that may be active or it may be dull. Just observing and noticing if thoughts float in and out or float through. Just observing, knowing that the mind, that's what it does, it's a processor. It naturally wants to interpret things and um, reason. Notice that inclination of the mind. But also not, uh, also practicing non-attachment. And letting thoughts come and go as a natural course without holding on or going with a story. But if we do notice that, 
we follow that a tr particular train of thought or storyline. Just when we come to our awareness of that, just gently let it go. And I turn to just being a witness here. Allowing something to anchor us in awareness in this present moment. That may be the breath. It may be sound. It may be sensation or just a general sense of awareness here. Paying attention and awareness of the breath. We'll begin with Sama Priti breathing, which is an even inhale and exhale to a count of four. Inhale a nice deep breath to prepare. Exhale and release. <clears throat> now inhale one, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Now maintaining that same steady rhythm of the breath. Let's meet on all fours to begin cat cow poses. On the inhale, drop the belly, uh, curl the uh, chest and tailbone towards the sky. And exhale, arching the spine towards the sky, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, really reaching. Inhale, drop the belly, curl the heart, open. And exhale, push back to child's pose. And here we'll begin to um, move through a vinyasa. Uh, we'll have three options. First option here, inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, arch the spine back into cat pose. Tuck tailbone, tuck chin towards chest. Inhale, drop the belly. Curl the heart open, cat pose, and exhale, push back, seat to heels. Remembering the breath, and we might begin ujjayi breath, which is an audible breath, constricting the back of the throat. As if we're fogging a mirror, creating the sound of the ocean. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, curl the heart open, drop the belly. Exhale, push back. Now you can continue with that flow or move through the second option. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Baby cobra, point the toes. And exhale, push back, seat to heels. Move like you. Third.
third option here, inhale forward, back shoulders, plank pose. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, curl the heart forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. If you choose options one or two, you may push back feet to heels. Just take a moment here. If you're in down dog, um, or if you're in feet to heels, um, I invite you to come up to down dog. And just to feel this here, our first down dog of the day, let you pedal out the feet. Move in what way that feels good to you. Now choose your flow. Inhale forward, stack shoulders over wrist. Exhale, lower down your way. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward, back shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Exhale, push back. Warming up one more. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, send the right foot out behind as if you're kicking a wall behind you. And you can stay here or send the opposite left hand out in front to balance. And you can stay and play with this balance. That may be quite enough challenge for many of us. Or you can play with bringing a connecting breath and movement once again, bringing elbow into knee on the exhale. And inhale, stretching out long. Exhale, bring it, bring it in. And exhale, lengthening, following the rhythm of your own breath moving however quickly or slowly feels right that supports a continued sense of joy and connection and play here. Remembering not to take ourselves too seriously. And on the next exhale, bring everything down to the ground. Uh, switch over to the opposite side, sending the right leg out, 
mean, sorry, left leg up behind. And staying here or sending the opposite right hand out in front. Inhale and exhale, stay here, bring the elbow into me. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. On the inhale, release, hand and knee to the ground. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. And from here, lift the right leg to the sky for three-legged dog. And you can always modify or whatever works for you, if that means coming down to the forearms to release relieve the pressure from the wrist, or coming back down to the knee uh, to repeat uh, the previous series. You can keep that foot lifted, both hands grounded, or same lift opposite uh, left arm for a balance. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three and release. Put a nice deep bend in the knees here and curl the uh, tailbone towards the sky, um, feeling a nice deep bend in the lumbar spine, that natural curve of the lumbar spine. And keeping that curve there, and once again move the legs towards straight. Breathe. Inhale and lift the left leg towards the sky. Exhale, settling into the pose. And you may choose to lift the opposite right hand towards the sky for a balance. Inhale, exhale one. And this is just playing here. Exhale two. Inhale, exhale, three, and release. And once again, lifting that right leg to the sky. Bend the knee and open up the hips. Inhale, exhale. And uh, you can always come down to the knee if that feels right for you. And play with dropping that foot down behind for wild thing. And if you're down on your knee, it, it may be stargazer where the knee is grounded and that uh, right leg is stretched out long. But you do you. It's all beautiful. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. And flip back over. Push back. Downward facing dog. Lift the left leg towards the sky. Open up the hips. And play with dropping that left foot down behind 
a wild thing, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, and flip back over, push back, downward facing dog, inhale, Exhale, lift the right leg towards the sky, step it through. Place the left hand on the ground and open the heart, reaching the hand towards the sky. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale, breathe, inhale, and place that hand on the ground. Uh, grounding down in low lunge, and the knee can always be grounded or lifted. Inhale, and you may use blocks either. To allow you to access uh, plugging into the earth. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Come to rise. And they place the hand on the thigh. Or reach the hands. So it's the sky and crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Lengthening the spine and the crown. And exhale, opening the heart towards the sky. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Step the foot back to downward facing dog. Remembering steady breath. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, plant right hand on the ground. And exhale, open up. Left hand towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale, hand to the ground with the blocks. Really. Plugging in. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale, come to rise, hands on thigh, or reach towards the sky. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Inhale. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. You can always come down to child pose or rest and down dog if you want a more active rest. <laughs> Returning to or remembering that sense of being a witness here. 
noticing the body and the energy as it moves through the sounds around us, thoughts that may come and go without being attached to any of it but dividing in all of it. And letting it go when it's time to let it go. Inhale, lift the left leg towards the sky. And exhale, step it through. Inhale, pivot that back foot down to be parallel to the back edge of the mat. And creating a T uh, between the front foot and the back foot. Stacking the knee over the ankle, inhale, cartwheel the hands up for warrior two, exhale one, the hips are square towards the long edge of the mat, shoulders fall away from the ears, flip the palms up and notice how the shoulder blades feel uh, uh, sliding together on the back and keeping that sense of strength, strong in the core, soft in the shoulders, and flip those palms back down towards the earth, keeping uh, those shoulder blades right where they are. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, Exhale, three. Inhale and straighten that front leg. Exhale, pull forward for Utkita Trikonasana. Uh, ground the hand on the leg, to the ground or a block. Whatever will allow you to open the heart towards the sky. Inhale. Inhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, and we'll do five breaths. Inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Inhale, come to rise, and exhale, bend in that front knee, uh, bring the left hand to the ground, inside the foot to a block or to the ground, and reach the right hand out past the ear for pause for Konasana. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, and reach that hand towards the sky, and you can stay here, drop the hand behind the back, to take the bind, that can hold like the opposite, that can hold to the hands, or you can use the strap here, where? This is where the strap can come in handy to connect the hands. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. And release the hand. Come to rise. Straighten that front leg once again and pour ourselves forward to Utkita Trikonasana. And this time bringing the right hand out past the ear and we can stay with the left hand grounded or for a more active pose. Uh, loose that hand towards the sky like we're holding a, a big beach ball. Inhale, focus the 
day of healing. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale and drop that left hand. Bring right hand to the hip and begin to walk. Um, step the back foot forward about halfway so that we can shift the weight into the left foot. Shifting that weight forward, begin to liberate the back foot to prepare for Ardha Chandrasana. So you may choose Ardha Chandrasana or um, bring both hands down to the ground for one legged flick like a Pada Uttanasana. If you're doing Ekapada Uttanasana, then um, keep that lifted leg strong and straight and the toes pointed towards the earth. If you're moving towards the Ardha Chandrasana, open up the hips. Sending right hand to the sky. And the last part is to send the gaze towards the sky. Just staying here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Focus the gaze. Inhale. Exhale three. And you may stay here or um, bring the gaze back to the earth. Bend in the knee and grab hold to the ankle of the lifted leg. And then play with opening back up for Ardha Chandra Chakasana. So the cane in the half moon pose. It does slightly my favorite name to a pose. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. And if you're holding on to that ankle, go ahead and release it. And then release everything to the earth. And then to rag doll. You might put a nice uh, bend in the knee since this is our first. Uttanasana forward fold of the day. Uh, do what feels good here. That will allow you to connect to the earth. Here, um, you might just let the hands dangle or hold on to opposite elbows. It feels good right now. the right foot back. Um, walk the hands over to the opposite side. We find ourselves uh, in a low lunge uh, with the right leg forward. Pivot that left foot down to be parallel with the back edge of the mat. And when you're ready, cartwheel the hands up. For Veera Bhadrasana, two. Knee is stacked over ankle, tailbone tucked, strong in the core, tucking those uh, lower ribs in, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, palms face up, really feeling how the shoulder blades want to come together on the back body, and keeping that sense of those shoulder blades on the back with the palms down. Face the earth, inhale. Gaze over fingertips, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale and 
and straighten that front leg. Exhale, pull forward. Bring hand to the leg, the ground, block. Open the heart towards the sky, gaze towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, come to rise. Exhale, bend in the right knee. Bring hand to the inside and the right foot to the ground or to a block. Then left hand past the ear, gaze at fingertips, inhale. Exhale, one. You can also place the forearm on top of the thigh. There's another option, inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, send that left hand towards the sky and keep it there, drop it behind using a strap or connecting the hands together for a bind. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. And release, straighten that front leg. Um, Grounding the hand on the leg, block or ground for Utita Trikonasana once again. And now sending left hand past the ear. You might liberate the right hand. Also, inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, remembering steady breath, bring left hand to the hip, shift the weight forward into the right foot for Ekapada one-legged forward fold, toes pointing towards the ground or Ardha Chandrasana. Open the hips. Open the hand towards the sky. And heart towards sky. Then gaze towards sky. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three, and you can stay here or grab hold to that ankle with the lifted hand. And remember, you can always use a block um, to access the earth. If you have a wall nearby, walls are also awesome uh, to use to, um, as a support that might allow us to open up into the pose. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. And release everything to the ground. Uttanasana. Moving in. Moving the legs toward straight. Wherever your edge is, everybody's different. With each breath, inhale, lengthening the spine and exhale, 
holding in a little bit deeper. Exhale, drop the seat for chair pose. Reach hands towards the sky. Inhale and exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, cross from the right arm over to the outside of the left leg or grab hold with the arm and pull ourselves into the twist. You might also place the elbow uh, on the right leg, whatever is accessible to you, but press that prayer back towards the center of the heart. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale back to center. Moving through center to the opposite side. Place that elbow wherever it wants to be, wants to go, and use it um, to push you into the twist, pushing the prayer back towards the center of the heart. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Moving back to center. Bring hands behind us. Opening the heart. Coming back in chair pose. And exhale, straighten the legs. Bending allowing the hands to fall towards the earth. And into stillness here. And now inviting the flow, sit back once again in chair pose, reach the hands towards the sky. And exhale, bring the hands back behind to clasp, straighten the legs, folding forward. Inhale, drop the seat, reach up. And exhale, swing the hands through. Inhale, drop the seat, reach up. Exhale, swing it through. Following the rhythm of your own breath. And on the next exhale, come to rise. Hands in prayer for Tadasana. Moving into our balance practice today. Shift the weight into the right foot. Bring the left knee into the thigh or the calf or kickstand. Uh, you find where you're going to play today, uh, but commit to where you're going to, where your edge is going to be, where you're going to play. Bring the hands to the center of the chest in prayer, and you may keep it here or reach the hands towards the sky to grow your tree. Focus the gaze, inhale on something that's not moving. Exhale, one. 
inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, and you can stay here or play with bending your branches as if the wind is causing your tree to sway. You might bring the left hand uh, down to the left thigh and go to your edge, bending, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, and come to rise, and exhale, release. So with balance, it's, it's all about returning back to center. <clears throat> so if we're swaying and wobbling this way or that, that's uh, good. That's part of the practice. And the practice is bringing it back to center. And if we fall out of it, get back into it. Keep practicing. So switch to the opposite side kickstand, lower leg or upper leg, hands in prayer, fix the gaze, and you may grow your tree, inhale, exhale one, inhale, Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. And you may stay here or lean over to the right side. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. <laughs> exhale, two. Inhale, Woo. exhale, three, inhale, back to center, exhale, release, hands in prayer, and let's uh, begin to drop our uh, bodies down to Malasana. Goddess pose. Again, uh, bringing hands in prayer, really lengthening the spine, dropping the pelvis towards the earth, and bringing our prayer uh, back to center. If you need to, uh, if your heels don't quite touch the ground, that's all good. If you want to rest um, your heels on a towel or a blanket or take more of a supportive pose and sit down on a block. Do you and play here. Inhale, remembering our intention. And we're going to play with sending that left hand. What is up with these earthworms today? They keep wanting to get on my mat. Gross, I got to pick up a worm. Ew. Go back over there. Okay, so sending left hand out to the left side. Open right hand towards the sky. And you may stay here or take the bind, sending the right hand out behind and grabbing hold uh, with both hands or once again using the strap if that helps it to be accessible. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, Exhale, 
breathe. And if you did take the bind, go ahead and release and move to center back in prayer and sending the right hand out um, to the outside of the right leg and using the leverage of the right arm and leg against each other, open uh, the heart and left hand towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, and you may stay here, inhale, or inhale and drop that left hand behind and take the bind with the strap or with the fingers. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three, and release the bind if you took the bind, and release the hands to prayer, and sit back on the seat, bring the feet together for Baddha Konasana, make sure I'm not sitting on a worm, uh, grab hold to the feet, drop the knees towards the earth, lengthen the spine, and you may stay tall here, inhale, or exhale, fold forward over bent knees, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, Come to rise and exhale. Send the left foot out in front for Janu Shirshasana. Turn the torso over uh, to face the left leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. We'll do five breaths here. And you can always place the hands wherever they reach on the leg or use a strap. Uh, but remembering to keep the spine long and encouraging uh, the natural curve of the lumbar spine. Um, so if you're feeling like you're wanting to, to curve the back in order to reach, um, remember that's not the goal to reach as far as you can with your hand. Um, the goal is to keep the spine long and fold into wherever your edge is. Inhale and come to rise. And exhale, switch out the feet. Turn torso over right leg. Lengthen the crown towards the sky. And exhale, folding in to wherever your edge is. Lengthening on the inhale. And on the exhale, going a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Just allowing this really to feel good right now. Modifying it in whatever way feels good for you. And what needs to be stretched right now. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. 
inhale, come to rise. And exhale, um, bring the feet towards the short edge of the mat. Ground them down and begin to roll the spine slowly down to the earth. Let the feet fall open. Let the palms fall open towards the sky. And here you may take whatever pose, final pose you want to take before you move into Shavasana. When you're ready, let everything go. Letting go of all of our play. Letting go of thoughts. Allowing the energy to dissipate. Stay in an extended shavasana here. But when you're ready, you slowly roll over to one side. And rest for a moment. And remembering that it's all good. And as we move through our day today, remembering that sense of divine play and that which is greater than ourselves, so that we don't take ourselves too seriously. Like the sense of gratitude now in this moment. For this opportunity to practice. You push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.